Uh, good afternoon. My last uh, lecture dealt primarily with the industrialization after the Meiji Restoration of 1868, exploring uh, its sources and discussing the roles played by the state in the process. Today, I would like to try and give you a bird's eye view of Japan's uh, modernization during and after the Meiji period to put industrialization in perspective. As for uh, post-Meiji industrialization, I will try to draw out some general uh, features. The period from uh, Commodore Perry's arrival in 1853 to 1937 when Japan started the Second Sino-Japanese War was perhaps the most tumultuous era in Japan's history. With the possible exception of wartime period of 1937 to 1945. By the time Emperor Meiji died in 1912, Japan already had become an empire that was to be reckoned with, as the map shows. From the end of isolation to consolidation as a world power took less than 60 years. As part of the shift from a secluded feudal country to one of the most powerful countries in the world, Virtually every aspect of society underwent profound change. Government, legal cause, class and economic structure, education, foreign relations, and even dress, as we will see, in the span of one person's lifetime. It may sound hard to believe, but it is true that once Meiji leaders even considered adopting English as an official language. Anyway, these changes to westernize also unleashed a fierce nationalism, which in turn fed the fires of imperialism. Ultimately, this led to a war with the Western powers. Forced to open up by foreign powers, the Japanese elites realized that their country was technologically backward and militarily weak. Basically, the country was vulnerable to the same forces of colonization that had already infected much of Asia, they realized. The immediate goal was to make Japan strong in order to resist foreign pressure. The rallying cry was Fukoku Kyohei, rich country, strong army. Fear of foreigners, perhaps even xenophobia, uh, drove the country to uh, unite. Uh, this is uh, quite understandable given that uh, for more than two centuries, distrust and the rejection of a foreigner was a key government policy. The overriding goal of the Japanese leadership was to maintain independence and indeed to have the country take its rightful place with the other leading powers as quickly as possible. To achieve this, a rallying point for the disparate groups was needed. And it was found in the restoration of the authority of the emperor, an authority not enjoyed for a thousand years. The person on whom this burden fell was uh, Mutsuhito, uh, who chose the period name or reign title, uh, Meiji, 
uh, which means enlightened rule. The main feature of the Meiji Restoration was a centralized rule and a consequent growth in national identity as a mechanism for holding the country together during a time of a massive social and economic uh, change. Restoration of the imperial authority uh, first required the collapse of the Baku or Tokugawa shogunate. The anti-Baku forces were led by Tozama Hans. Uh, four of them were uh, especially uh, prominent, Joshu, Satsuma, Tosa, and uh, Hizen. The main supporters of the emperor were primarily the middle and lower ranking samurai who had helped overthrow uh, the Tokugawa Baku. Those from the Satsuma and Joshu Han in particular gained the substantial power. They had for years understood the need for change while seeing their own position steadily erode, but had been frustrated in their attempts at reform by the conservative forces uh, at the top uh, levels of uh, the government. In June uh, 1868, a new government was established. Uh, it was a mixture of the American model and the British model. The emperor, uh, at that time he was just a youth of uh, uh, 16. Uh, the emperor was uh, advised and aided by a council of state. Uh, it was uh, stepped uh, at the upper levels by daimyos and members of the imperial family. But uh, many positions were occupied by young samurais who came to have considerable power in shaping the new Japan. Council of the state uh, was uh, later replaced by the cabinet and the modern bureaucracy. Uh, the upper echelon of the bureaucracy was filled with the graduates of imperial universities, especially Tokyo Imperial University, uh, who passed the higher civil service examinations. And um, uh, Chenji was uh, also signaled by uh, the Mu the following year uh, of the capital to Edo. The city was renamed Tokyo, Eastern capital, and the emperor installed himself in the former castle of the Shogun, now the uh, imperial palace. Uh, once the new government had been set up, changes ca uh, came uh, very quickly. One of the first was a decision on land ownership. In an act known as a Hanseki Hokan, presentation of domain records, the major clans, which led the restoration, voluntarily gave up their land records to the imperial government. Uh, largely in control of the imperial government, these larger domains had little to lose by the act. They virtually forced others to follow suit. Uh, the dramatic move was significant, at least in two regards. First of all, it provided the central government the financial wherewith with which it could pursue very costly modernization projects. Secondly, it underlined acceptance of the end of the feudalism. The change in feudal ownership soon resulted in the private land ownership. Wealthier farmers were able to gain ownership of land and to buy and sell rice, while poorer 
farmers often came to work for them. Uh, by 1871, the Minister of uh, Finance was able to announce that all thieves had been abolished. In their place, prefecture was established uh, with the governors, sometimes former daimyos, appointed by the uh, central government. State stipends replaced the uh, Han revenue so the daimyos uh, received 10% uh, of uh, former revenues as a personal income, while samurai allowance were cut uh, by half. These were, um, in 1876, changed to lump sum payments and government bonds, which helped reduce the government's ongoing budget deficit. Many former daimyos invested this lump sum, these lump sum payments in new emerging uh, industries. The samurai too had to surrender their individual rights for the greater good. In 1871, the government urged them to keep wearing their hair in top knots reducing their visibly special uh, status. Uh, trousers replaced the uh, hakama, the traditional skirt-like um, uh, pants worn by the male elites. In 1876, the samurais were forbidden to wear swords. Their martial role was also undercut by a move to a conscript army in 1873, uh, following the disbanding uh, uh, the year before of Han-based uh, military forces. All Japanese citizens could be called up for three years of uh, military duty, followed by four years of reserve service. Uh, with the uh, initial uh, reduction and eventual loss of their uh, stipends, the nearly two million samurai also had to find jobs. Some continued in the bureaucracy where they had been a long time uh, presence. Others became uh, entrepreneurs, occasionally enjoying outstanding uh, successes with the application of their martial ethics to the business scene. Uh, but uh, most failed miserably. Uh, still others became teachers, journalists, and farmers, or uh, they found careers in the police force or the new modern army. Many others were unable to adjust and suffer the poverty and humiliation at their loss of status. With the um, samurai commoner division broken down, the class system of the Tokugawa period was also uh, altered. The Eta and the Hinin outcast groups were formally abolished and uh, subsumed into the commoner uh, class. Commoners were also legally allowed to take surnames from 1870. Uh, restrictions on changing one's place of residence and occupation were also lifted, uh, which was a significant uh, social shift uh, from the Edo era. And uh, young uh, Japanese were sent abroad in uh, droves, particularly to the technologically advanced countries of the West. As early as the 1960s, uh, many of the more powerful uh, daimyos or domains had sent people overseas to learn about the outside world. Uh, even before the Meiji Restoration. Uh, the Iwakura Mission, for example, 
which was sent out after Meiji Restoration, comprised nearly a hundred people and uh, included uh, uh, a number of uh, future uh, Japanese um, leaders. The mission spent uh, uh, two years on, in the United States and Europe. The mission included um, five women who stayed abroad for more than a decade, substantially contributing to the development of uh, women's education on their return. Foreign influences began to pervade Japan's uh, social uh, structure. Education in particular was a focus for the reformers. It was a necessary underpinning for the new technology arriving in the country. In 1871, a new Ministry of Education was established. And in 1872, compulsory education was introduced. At first, the compulsory education was only for 16 months, but by 1907, it was uh, uh, extended to six years, by which time, uh, attendance was near universal, uh, putting Japan far in advance of many countries in the West uh, at the time. The educational system was initially based on the French model and uh, later incorporated American practices. Uh, German ideas emphasizing duty to the state was uh, added to the uh, amalgam uh, later, uh, all of this uh, embedded onto traditional Japanese Confucian beliefs. The latter was especially apparent in the 1890 imperial rescript on education, uh, which set out uh, the ideological basis of the new educational system. Its emphasis on such values as loyalty, duty, respect, and obedience reflected the influence of uh, former uh, samurais in the Ministry of Education. This uh, coupled with the use of symbols such as the Japanese flag and the patriotic uh, songs was effective in promoting national identity and uh, uh, a respect for the emperor. Technological catch-up also required the establishment of uh, institutions of higher uh, education. Universities were created at a rapid rate. Uh, in 1877, Tokyo Imperial University was established uh, uh, from the existing educational institutions uh, from the Edo era, and uh, many other imperial universities followed. Kyoto uh, University in 1897, Tohoku Imperial University in Sendai in 1907, Kyushu Imperial University in uh, 1911, Hokkaido Imperial University, 1918, Keio Imperial, uh, Keijo Imperial University in Seoul, 1924, uh, uh, Daihoku Imperial University in Taiwan in 1928, uh, Osaka Imperial University in 1931, uh, Nagoya Imperial University in 1930. Uh, nine. Private universities were also uh, set up uh, even before the establishment of uh, imperial universities. Keio University was uh, uh, established in 1858, uh, even before the um, Meiji Restoration. Ritsumeikan University was uh, established in 1869. Toshisha University 
1875, Jose University in 1880, Waseda uh, University in 1882, among others. There were many other private universities. As you can see, some private universities uh, predated uh, the imperial universities. In addition, higher institutes for medicine, engineering, music, and arts were also uh, established. Not for a thousand years had Japan been so massively exposed to foreign ideas, and the Japanese leaders had no qualms about uh, utilizing uh, in early form of the contemporary world best practice approach in their drive to modernize the country. Western customs were taken on wholesale by ordinary Japanese citizens. Western style clothes made significant inroads. Men's suits were called uh, sabiro. Uh, the Japanese pronunciation of the London's famed street of tailors, Seville Row, and the bureaucrats were the first to wear the Western dresses uh, to the of women donned Western uh, dresses complete with the bustles. Western style haircuts came into vogue. Western uniforms were adopted by schools and universities and uh, they are still visible uh, on the streets of uh, Japanese cities today. In the artistic world, the scene was similar. In the early years of the Meiji uh, Restoration, uh, Western influence was uh, a dominant factor in art, music, and literature. Western literature made inroads, including uh, works by Jules Verne, a French writer, and Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe, uh, books which gave advice about how to cope with the widespread changes in the country were especially popular. Uh, associated with the flood of Western literature came an interest in learning Western languages. New medical practices were imported principally from Germany, and even today, many Japanese medical terms are of German origin. The Western calendar replaced the lunar calendar in 1873. Oh, baseball was introduced in 1873, uh, which was uh, later uh, diffuse to uh, Korea and Taiwan, uh, which at that time uh, were Japan's colonies. Uh, even the Japanese diet began to change with beer uh, being produced for the first time in the 1970s, and the beef consumption uh, growing uh, significantly. Uh, today's popular dish is sukiyaki, uh, which is similar to beef uh, fondue, uh, dates from uh, this period. Some of uh, the fascination uh, with the Western practices uh, bordered on the absurd, however. There was uh, some discussion among Japanese elites, uh, for example, of replacing uh, rice with bread as the uh, main uh, staple. Uh, the period was characterized by the impact of Western practices throughout uh, Japanese society. Uh, though urban uh, uh, dwellers and the relatively wealthy had a much greater uh, exposure. And the substantial cultural gap uh, grew up between the cities and the countryside. Uh, as a result of both the international influence and domestic imperatives, 
the lifestyle of many Japanese changed at the breakneck of space. By 1882, for example, when the Bank of Japan uh, came into being, there was already more than 150 banks in the country, often based uh, on the American model. Banking through the post office, uh, which was a Japanese innovation, was also made possible in order to utilize people's savings for national economic development. Um, and uh, this postal service uh, actually has played a major role in Japan's growth uh, through to the present day. Uh, the tremendous upsurge in transportation and communication technology, including the introduction of railways and the telegraph, had far-reaching implications not only for economic development, uh, but also for the daily life of Japanese citizens. Uh, commuting came into being, and the problems of overcrowded uh, transport associated with Japan today were already evident uh, by the turn of the century. Uh, there was a virtual explosion uh, in uh, publication of newspapers. Uh, the first English language newspaper appeared as early as in 1861, and 10 years later, the first Japanese daily, the Yokohama Mainichi Shimbun, went into circulation. Uh, these were uh, often the vehicles of criticism of the government, and consequently, the first uh, laws controlling the press were enacted uh, in 1875. By the time, uh, there were more than a hundred newspapers in circulation. Japan's transformation, however, did not mean a complete break from the past. The country's symbolic core remained uh, uh, the emperor as the embodiment of a Japanese tradition. In a deliberate move to foster a connection between the bulk of the population and the emperor, he was removed from his previously secluded existence and brought into contact with the elites around the country. Uh, it was important to the stability of the government and its modernization program uh, that uh, there was a se seen to be imperial support uh, for the new social and economic policies. The leadership also wished to retain the spirit of the old Japan. The rallying uh, cry was a Japanese uh, spirit, Western learning, indicating a desire to maintain fundamental cultural characteristics, such as duty, obedience, loyalty, and discipline. These ideas reflected, of course, the wishes of the upper class rather than the bulk of a population. Uh, but in any event, uh, they were characteristics uh, which met the needs of the reformer admirably. Despite the popularity of these ideas, Westerners were often kept at some distance. As early as uh, 1873, for example, uh, a law prohibiting foreign ownership of land was passed. Uh, political parties uh, emerged uh, at this time. The political parties represented a radical departure from the tradition of authoritarian rule uh, which had been particularly harsh in the preceding uh, two centuries. 
along uh, with other themes, Western, came uh, philosophies of representative government. The works of the um, English political thinker John Stuart Mill and the French uh, thinker Jean-Jacques Rousseau were particularly popular, and their ideas spread very rapidly in step with the dramatic increase in literacy uh, rate under the new mass education system and the publication uh, and the wide circulation of a large number of newspapers and books, uh, thanks to the uh, development of a printing uh, technology. Uh, the early uh, major leaders recognized the need for a legitimate outlet for the new ideas circulating uh, at the time. Although uh, their primary goal was to harness and control the population during the drive uh, to modernize. Um, in the early stages, however, the call for democracy came from the relatively small middle class. Uh, groups with different interests naturally gravitated toward uh, each other. Um, and uh, two earliest uh, uh, parties reflected uh, this uh, division. The Chiyuto uh, or Liberal Party represented the center left, um, taking on many of its ideas from the uh, French liberal doctrines. It gained support from some summarize and journalists but mostly from wealthier farmers in the countryside uh, were the main uh, support base. The Kai Shinto or the Progressive Party appealed uh, to the center right. Uh, its beliefs uh, uh, were loosely based on the British ideas of constitutional democracy. Support came uh, mainly from new capitalists, academics, merchants, and small uh, landowners. The Taiseito or Imperial Government Party was uh, further to the right and uh, found support among religious leaders and the military. Not surprisingly, uh, there was a substantial conflict between these groups as well as factional rift, rifts uh, within uh, these uh, uh, groups. A landmark political development of the period was the Meiji Constitution of 1889. The Meiji Constitution established the first representative government in Asia. Of course, uh, the, uh, it was a limited uh, representative uh, uh, government, but still, uh, the first repre representative, if limited, in the government in Asia. This marked a significant change in the course of Japanese history. It was the beginning of a shift, shift away from uh, authoritarianism. The constitution contained elements of uh, both the old Japan and the new uh, Japan, and it reflected the, the um, disparate positions of uh, different groups and the tensions. Um, between tradition and change. In a sense, uh, that uh, compromise, that coexistence between tradition and change was uh, quite understandable because the reformers uh, themselves were products of the Tokugawa era uh, and the authoritarian uh, type of government. 
Here too, finding the best model available was uh, 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 the approach taken by the leadership. Uh, Ito Hirobumi was uh, the individual who figured most prominently in the development of a constitution. And uh, he had gone to Europe in 1882 to study constitutional forms. The option was a, con a constitution that tended toward the <clears throat> German system, uh, which he, while limiting the authority of the emperor, accorded the greater power to the higher um, mechanisms or higher echelons of the government and uh, uh, bureaucracy. And um, the government was uh, more strongly centralized than the systems uh, of other countries such as Britain. The Meiji Constitution set out the rights and responsibilities of citizens. The freedoms uh, specified in the Constitution included uh, the freedom of uh, speech, assembly, and association, privacy of uh, correspondence, uh, freedom of religion, and uh, sanctity of home, uh, which meant uh, uh, the individuals' private houses uh, uh, were not to be searched uh, uh, arbitrarily by the uh, government officials, police. Yeah? Responsibilities were essentially limited to, to two. Uh, one was paying the taxes, the other was serving uh, the military service. Um, but uh, as for the rights, there was a very important qualifier. Huh? So uh, these uh, rights were uh, more or less guaranteed, uh, except in the case provided for uh, by law. So when a law was uh, uh, enacted, uh, these uh, rights could be uh, restricted. Or um, another qualifier, within the limits, not prejudicial to peace and order. So in the name of an peace and order, the rights could be restricted to some extent. The Constitution also provided a venue uh, in which the new politicians could argue. The upper house or house of peers was uh, reserved for the elite. Um, they were drawn from a hereditary peerage established in 1884 and included the former daimyo, court nobles, major leaders uh, who were called genros, uh, senior uh, military officers. The lower house or the house of representatives was uh, an elected body. But uh, I must um, hurry and add, uh, add that the right to vote was limited uh, to the relatively wealthy. So uh, those uh, who qualified uh, uh, to have um, the suffrage uh, constitute about 1% of the population at the time. Uh, so these two houses together uh, form the diet. But curiously enough, the members of the powerful 
the Purple Cabinet did not have to belong to uh, the Diet. So they could be outside the appointees. So it was not exactly the Westminster type uh, uh, diet. Uh, it was only in 1918 that the leader of the winning party became the prime minister. So uh, it was during, uh, it was after 1918 during the uh, so-called period of Daisho democracy, uh, it uh, more or less came to resemble uh, the uh, Westminster model. We can trace a number of uh, prominent aspects of contemporary Japanese society uh, to uh, this time. Uh, for example, the bureaucracy is immensely powerful uh, in Japan. The preeminent position of the Tokyo University was uh, consolidated uh, at that time, and its law faculty became the uh, premier path, as it is now, to high-level positions in the civil service. The competitive examination system, which in turn uh, is the path to Tokyo uh, and other elite universities, came into being at this time as well. A departure from the earlier system of uh, inherited positions, it was a major factor in releasing the talent and energies of the uh, general population. As we have seen uh, in my last lecture, the new policies focused uh, in particular on industrialization, since this was the key to a strong country. A Ministry of Industry was established as early as 1870, and the government often took the lead in the early years in establishing uh, new enterprises, as I explained last time. But the government um, setting up uh, enterprise was necessary uh, because uh, the private uh, sector at the time was unable or unwilling to uh, make investments. And it was uh, uh, often uh, difficult to find investors because Japan's industrial structure in the early years of the major restoration was primitive. Its manufactured products were inferior to those uh, of the West. Uh, from 1970s, therefore, the government became heavily involved in such industries as coal mining and shipbuilding and in the production of textiles, machine tools, cement, and bricks. At the same time, uh, the government, the Meiji state, uh, uh, brought um, foreign exports uh, to Japan as advisors on railway construction and operation, uh, shipbuilding, agricultural innovations, military organization, educational systems, mining practices, and so on and so on, as I explained last time. Uh, the first railway uh, track was formally opened in 1872, uh, uh, Yokoyama, uh, Shim, uh, and uh, uh, Shimbashi in uh, Tokyo. And the length of the track increased from about 120 kilometers in 1881 to 3,300 in 1895 and 5,000 by the turn of the century. Uh, Great Britain uh, provided a loan for the first uh, track between uh, Yokohama and uh, Shimbashi 
uh, station of Tokyo in 1870, as well as the engineers and train uh, operators. British exports also supervised construction of the first um, telegraph line. The government was perhaps visionary in its realization that the private sector was more efficient than the public sector in the day-to-day -day operation of businesses. And once new industries were up and running, they were often sold off to the private uh, enterprises. Uh, the state still retained the military, directly military industries, but the other uh, industries, even including heavy and chemical industries, were sold off to the private sector. The sales of these assets also helped to balance the government's uh, uh, burgeoning uh, budget uh, uh, deficit. From the um, late 1880s onwards, the government initiated uh, enterprises were sold often to individuals uh, closely connected uh, to the government officials. And uh, it was during this period that uh, we saw, we saw, see the emergence of some of the great family-owned industrial combines uh, known as the Jaivas. A good example is uh, Mitsubishi. Uh, Mitsubishi uh, was uh, founded by a former low-ranking samurai of Tosa uh, domain, Tosa clan, uh, Iwashi uh, Yataro. He purchased the government shipyards in Nagasaki, and then uh, he was given for free uh, 13 ships, which had been used for the military expedition to Taiwan in 1874. This allowed him to start what eventually became Nihon Yusen Kaisha, Japan's first shipping line. The two enterprises, the shipyard and the Yusen Kaisha uh, laid the foundation for his family's industrial enterprise. The four pre-war uh, industrial groups, uh, Mitsubishi, Mitsui, Sumitomo, and Yasuda, the big four, uh, all emerged uh, during uh, this period as a part of uh, country's uh, military industrial uh, complex. Of these two, Mitsui and Sumitomo had their origins uh, uh, in the merchants' houses that uh, developed uh, in the course of uh, increasing commercialization uh, during the Edo period. So uh, these originated as uh, the, uh, uh, originated uh, from the uh, merchant background. Yasuda uh, group uh, after the war, Yasuda group was uh, uh, the completely disbanded, although some of the uh, subsidiary companies uh, uh, survived, uh, like Huji Bank. It was a finance, uh, banking and uh, finance group. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, Ono Yoko uh, 
John Lennon's uh, widow uh, was uh, the granddaughter, a granddaughter of the founder of uh, Yasuda Group, uh, Yasuda uh, Genjiro. Interesting, right? In addition uh, to these big four, many other business groups uh, also originate from uh, this plate. Uh, this period. Today's Nippon Electronic uh, Electric Company, NEC, originated in a joint venture with the uh, American uh, Western Electric that uh, uh, generated the electricity. Uh, the Tokyo uh, Shibaura Electric Company, which uh, generated electricity at the time, later became Toshiba. So all these you know, came into being uh, during uh, this period. Their owners uh, all had close personal ties as well as a strong uh, political links with the politicians and bureaucrats. A cordial relationship between the leading government and the cooperating business in Japan uh, dates from these early years of modernization. As I explained earlier, the substantial influence of the bureaucracy in the economic uh, affairs of modern Japan can be traced from uh, this time. Bureaucracy. Uh, as I said, Japanese government was a visionary uh, in believing that the private sector could be more efficient than the public sector. And what the bureaucracy did was targeting and promoting an industry or a particular sector that the needed uh, developing. Hmm? But it relied, as I said, on the private sector instead of itself engaging in production and distribution. The pattern became firmly entrenched by the mid-1920s. When you think of Japan, you think of industrial policy. The origins of that industrial policy can be traced back to the 1920s. Therefore, Chalmers Johnson, whose book, The Mitty and the Japanese Miracle I Assigned, for you to read, uh, traces the origins of the post-war Japanese industrial uh, policy in the Ministry of Industry, which he later changed its name to Ministry of uh, Munitions during the uh, wartime. Um, and then after the, uh, after, uh, the war, uh, it was called the Ministry of uh, uh, International uh, Trade. Now, after uh, 2001, it is called uh, Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry. Along with the sweeping changes in other areas, uh, military was uh, substantially reorganized. Officers were sent abroad to study modern methods, and uh, by the mid-1970s, Japan had a new army about 9,000 based uh, originally on the French model. In 1878, the structure was again altered to include uh, a general step uh, organization based uh, on the German system. Uh, the driving force behind the military reform was a Joshu samurai named Yamakata uh, Aritomo. Uh, conscription dated from uh, the conscription ordinance of 1873. Interestingly, 
most troops were recruited from the former Dozama Hans, Dozama domains, especially Satsuma, Joshu, and Tosa. Uh, Satsuma clan dominated the new Japanese navy, which was based uh, on that of Britain. And indeed, the British Navy played a significant role uh, in the uh, organization of Japanese Navy. In 1874, a Japanese force was sent to Taiwan following the murder of a number of shipwrecked Okinawan sailors by the locals. China eventually paid an indemnity and the Japanese troops withdrew. Uh, but it was a harbinger of events to come. In 1894, a millenarian rebellion broke out in Korea. In the pretext of uh, helping out the Korean government, both the Chinese and Japanese troops uh, entered uh, the fray. Japan then pressured China to accord it special privileges in Korea, which China refused to do. The Japanese Navy, with the tacit support of the uh, Britain, attacked Chinese ships and the Sino-Japanese war broke out. Within a year, Japan had defeated the Chinese on both land and sea. And the uh, 1985 Treaty of Shimonoseki gave it, among others, Taiwan, Port Arthur, and the Liaotung Peninsula, and also removed Korea from Chinese control. But Germany, France, and Russia intervened. Uh, these countries felt their imperial ambitions uh, threatened by the Japanese control of these areas. Eventually, J uh, Japan handed back Port Arthur and the Liaotung Peninsula before ratification of the Shimonoseki uh, Treaty. The result of this was a tremendous popular nationalist backlash in Japan. It also drove home to Japanese leaders the lesson that uh, the use of force was the deciding factor in international affairs. Another outcome was the growth in prestige of the armed forces, and as a result, a legal change in 1890 made it compulsory for the Japanese government to choose the war minister and navy minister uh, from active duty officers. This was to have a serious implications over the coming decades because if the navy and army uh, record the ministers from the cabinet, then the cabinet uh, uh, was to collapse. This meant uh, the military had a great influence on the affairs of the government. The Japanese had been displeased with Russia uh, because it was forced to hand back to China the strategically placed uh, Liaotung Peninsula. Right after that, uh, Russia uh, grabbed uh, uh, the Liaotung Peninsula, securing a 25-year lease in 1898, and uh, beginning a military buildup uh, in the region uh, using uh, Trans-Siberian Railway and uh, its spur line uh, across Manchuria the Chinese Eastern uh, Railroad. Uh, this gave Russia access to ice-free seaports and uh, some of the uh, mineral wealth of the region. 
Um, both these developments worried Japanese leaders and reinforced the might is right view of international relations. Uh, the lessons learned in 1895. The resultant military buildup was reflected uh, in the defense budget, uh, which accounted for 50% of government expenditure after 1897. And finally, a war uh, broke out between uh, Japan and Russia. Uh, Russian uh, ships were attacked by the Japanese Navy uh, on uh, February 8, 1904, uh, and two days later Japan, Japan declared war on Russia, a move that enjoyed widespread support on the domestic uh, front. The result, uh, after much bloody fighting, was Japanese victory on the sea and uh, at least a goal showing on land, a stalemate. Uh, Japan uh, asked the uh, United States to uh, uh, mediate, and uh, the, as the result, uh, the two uh, countries agreed to the Ports of a Treaty uh, in 1905. The treaty gave Japan the southern half of Sakhalin Island, the Liaotung Peninsula, a section of Russia's South Manchurian Railway, and the recognition of Japan's paramount interest in Korea, uh, which Japan subsequently annexed uh, in 1910. Uh, at home, uh, Japan had the beginning of an empire with its new uh, possessions uh, and uh, Taiwan, and uh, they were used as markets for Japanese manufactured goods and sources of supply, and uh, areas of settlement for the rapidly uh, growing uh, population. The country also came away with a new confidence in its ability to use force on the international stage to secure its interests. The military's prestige and influence in Japanese society were exalted to the point of eclipsing the authority of the civilian uh, politicians. So much so that uh, the brief uh, interlude of Daisho uh, democracy was derailed uh, in the 1920s, eventually opening uh, the road to military adventurism in the 1930s, which I will discuss in my next lecture.